the discussion topic is stlc prototypes model so these are the various sub topics that we are going to cover so let's start with the introduction about sdlc what is sdlc basically if we start with the word system system means that the structure that work in coordinated manner with all the parts and provide us the objective the goal that we want to achieve so basically the full form of sdlc is system development life cycle of an information system it means that the various sub components will be followed one by one and they will work in the coordinated manner to achieve the final output according to our requirement the basic system and the process that takes place in any system is basically called as system development life cycle the sdlc has various different steps that are followed the various phases in sdlc are the first phase will be a requirement analysis then the design then we will followed by development or coding part then the deployment after that we will follow maintenance of the system then we are having idea ideation so what exactly is the prototype model a prototype is built before the development of actual software it means that if we want to create one software according to the requirement of the customer then first of all we must have one prototype the basic structure if we are not aware about the basic requirements the final output of the system then we have to create the basic prototype model first of all so it is very important that we must satisfy the client or the customer so the software developed by us it must be according to the needs of the customer so for that purpose we must have a prototype and this basic structure will be called as prototype model before the final development of the software so let's discuss about the phases in prototype model first of all we will build the prototype then we will get it checked by the customer customer will check the model how it is built if he is satisfied with the all the uh, evaluation matter then it will be followed it will follow the next step that is design and development if in case the customer is not satisfied and the feedback is not according to the requirement and up to the mark then further the cycle will be goes on and on the next step will be review and updation and after that quick design again will be made then again the prototype will be made and again the same process will be followed that is evaluation by the customer so finally if the customer is fully satisfied then the design and development will be done and once the software is developed it will get tested if there will be any kind of errors that will be removed then the final step is maintenance so time to time maintenance of the software or the system is very mandatory let's discuss the steps or phases one by one the first is requirement gathering as we know that first of all we must have the basic structure and the needs of the customer according to the customer what are the basic needs and the final output he need so we need to create the requirement gathering information gathering first of all so the full details are taken from the user so that we can create a a perfect software according to his requirement and the next step is quick design once the requirements are gathered from the customer and we have concluded it the next step will be quick design the design will be made created when the requirements are known so it will be a kind of quick design that will include further steps it will include all the element elements which are required for the system 
so the third step will be built prototype so here we will have the user interface the basic working model for the system so we need some interface or front end for the system so this would be the third step the fourth is customer evaluation so once we have created the prototype we will get it checked from the customer and according to the customer's feedback we will get to know whether it has to be updated more or it is according to the requirement and the design the development has to be made for the system so this would be the fourth step next is review and updation if the feedback given by the customer is not according to the requirement of the system and is not up to the mark then again we need to follow the cycle we have to review the system again and we need to update it to get the improved results next step is development actual software will be developed here in the final step then when all the needs are fulfilled and the client is fully satisfied with the system created by the uh, created by us then further the coding part and all the modules will be created so this is the development phase next is testing phase as the name represents testing means that we need to test every module whether they are working according to the need or not if there are any kind of errors or fault that need to be corrected next is maintenance as we know that maintenance is very mandatory step and if we want to have the very good system then the maintenance and regular check will be done so that we must not have any kind of error or failures and there must be reduced downtime also downtime basically means that the duration it refers to a system if a system fails to provide or perform its primary functions which are basically required so we must have reduced downtime also we are having some different types of prototyping models such as rapid throw away prototype evolu evolutionary prototype then incremental prototype extreme prototype let's discuss one by one first is rapid throw away prototype this technique is useful to meet the requirement of the customer and we can create some new ideas and if in case the step is not according to the requirement we just discard that particular phase and again we will follow the same cycle so this is the rapid throw away it will be followed until the client is fully satisfied with our model next is evolutionary prototype so this is somewhat extended to the rapid throw away prototype in comparison to rapid throw away it offers a better approach where we can save time and effort also the prototype developed over here is initially incremented and refined on the basis of the customer feedback so the basic difference is that we need not to start the model from its very basic or the scratch next is incremental prototype it acts as a building block from which any component is added or we can integrate all the components to create the overall big design so this is the incremental prototype where we can add further and further components and we can improve our model so in the end when all the individual pieces are completely developed and they are according to the requirement then they all will be merged together so that we can get the final product the large product according to the predefined order that we want the biggest advantage of this incremental prototype is that the end user that is the customer they gets a opportunity to test the functionality of the developed system if they are very good and they are fully satisfied with the component then it will be delivered the last one is extreme prototype 
in extreme prototype we are having some different different phases in the first phase we will have the static pages static pages on the coding it will be in the html format that is hypertext markup language which is used for the web development for the front end representation so it is having some computer language in the tag form so the second phase is functional screens are made over here where data is processed in the last phase all the services are implemented and associated and finally we will get the final prototype so it is mainly used for web development now let's have some advantages of prototype model it is very flexible in design and we are involving the customer also in the development phase so that we can have the better product then errors can be removed over here very easily and it can be made according to the requirement and with good functionality also quicker user feedback is available and quicker results are available and the most important thing about this model is that it is having the combination of rest of the model that is waterfall model and the spiral model at the same time we are having some disadvantages of prototype model also the first point includes that it is somewhat time consuming because the reason being we need to involve the user the customer time to time and the biggest disadvantage is that we need to have the documentation every time whenever the customer is not satisfied and he needs some changes or updations in the system and it is costly also the number of iterations performed over here to update the system or the product is very cumbersome work that result in the complexity of the system in the end so these are the disadvantages if we want to conclude this model we can say that it is the development method where we are having some pro prototypes and these prototypes are merged together and modified until we get the final required product or the software now let's have some of the mcqs related to the same topic the first question is which one of the following is not a phase of prototyping model so the different options are available what could be the correct answer option number 4th coding is the correct answer for this question because we are not including any kind of coding or programming languages over here in this model next question is which one of the following is a type of prototyping model as we have discussed some different kind of prototyping models those were four types of prototyping models so what is the correct answer according to the options given over here option number 1 rapid throw away is the correct answer other different options are not the type of prototyping model so rapid throw away is the model where we discard the system and recreate the entire model from the scratch if the customer is not satisfied with our product so this was all about stlc prototypes